Hello, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Now we're going to talk about a subject that some viewers will find upsetting. My next guests, Laura Hughes, Mary Sharp and Lauren Preston, were all brought together to bring justice to their rapist. Since the 80s and 90s, Martin, Martin Butler had escaped any punishment for his crimes. That is, until these three women found each other. Before we chat to them, let's hear more about their story. This story starts in the 1980s in northwest London, where Mary, Lauren and Laura grew up. Mary was the first to meet Martin Butler in 1988 and began a relationship with him when she was 20 and he was 26. Things were going well until she went on holiday to Cornwall with him and his family after five months together. She woke up one night to find him sexually abusing her. Mary left the holiday without him and never spoke to Martin Butler again. She didn't go to the police and tried to block out what had happened to her. Six years later, 14-year-old Lauren Preston met Martin Butler through his daughter when he began grooming and abusing her. And later that year, 14-year-old Laura Hughes was put through the same ordeal by him. Both Lauren and Laura reported his crime separately to the police, but he still wasn't prosecuted. Until 2018, when everything changed, when at the age of 37, Laura decided to take matters into her own hands. She posted an appeal on her Facebook page, hoping other victims of Butler would come forward. And it was this that brought Lauren, Laura and Mary to finally get some justice for his crimes. Well, Laura, Mary and Lauren are with me now. Thanks for coming in to talk about this. I cannot begin to imagine what you've been through. Um, but Laura, putting up that post changed everything, didn't it? So just tell us why you decided to do that. Um, we tried to get justice back in um, 2008. Um, when I was told to try and find more witnesses about my case or other victims, um, I had managed to get hold of Lauren through Facebook, which has just sort of started. And um, she, it turned out she'd gone to the police when she was 21 and hadn't been listened to. And so she was said, um, I can't remember, what did you say? It's like a they, dream, they... but you said something like, oh, it, um, it's a miracle you've come to Yeah, see. when I got your message yes. on Facebook, it was an absolute miracle. Yes, yeah, first thing she said. Sad that yeah. I knew that something had happened to you, but a miracle that we could possibly take it further. Yeah. So... And then, and then um, that went on for two years, and then on the first day of court, like, I was in there, but it got thrown out um, because of... Um, he'd already done time for um, dealing drugs, and so they couldn't talk about that aspect of it in court to the jury. So our court... Our, uh, it got stayed. It was a loophole in the system, wasn't it? Yeah. It was wasn't so you'd convicted. Both, you'd both, uh, Lauren and Laura, both had tried to get him prosecuted in the past, but for various reasons, to do technicalities and yeah. lack of evidence, yeah. it couldn't happen. It couldn't yeah, happen. I got comp yeah. I got compensation, um, but no justice. So it was like, uh, so it basically, yeah. he was still out there, and um, so I have spent the last um, 14 years, well, since then, worried, knowing that his definitely going to be abusing more people. Yeah. So that's why you've done the post. Yeah, so I did the post yeah. because of that. Yeah. And then, Mary, I know, and I mentioned it in that film, you tried to block this out, hadn't you, since yes. it happened to oh, you? And yeah. then, what was it like when you read this post? Oh, it's just... Um, your whole world falls apart, actually. You see it all. Yeah. 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 Mary, Mary was um, in the car when, when she got the post and she had a breakdown. Um, just, she just, yeah, she couldn't believe what she was saying because she said that she felt... You were the only one. Yeah. Well, I think yeah, we you all... You blame yourself to start with. You, um, when you have uh, a fish's attack, you blame yourself. You live with the shame yeah. and you don't deal with it. You're trying to block it out and carry on with your life. Um, and then seeing the post, it just brought it all back and I realised it wasn't me. I'm not the, the, yeah. person, the only one. The only one. Because I to... imagine the three of you must have felt so alone. Yeah, you are alone. I, I knew what had happened to Lauren um, because I was there for some of that and it was very public knowledge in the estate that um, Lauren... We were having a relationship. Yeah, but we didn't know back then because, you know, it was at that age where, like, I hadn't even kissed a boy before. I mean, you were 14, weren't you? Well, you were no, we were even younger yeah. when we met him. We met him when we were, like, 12, 13. So, yeah, we didn't know what normal was. Yeah, and I imagine, Mary, because, you know... You'd been to the police as well. You must have thought that this was this would never go to trial. I did, but I it, yeah, I dealt a lot of um, emotions and thought 
you know, how do I deal with it? Do I forget about what I saw or do I just live with it? And just, if I saw his face on the TV that it actually had hurt someone severely, I wouldn't live with myself. So it was my conscience that said, no, I need, you know, I need them to know I mean, we're lucky how to dangerous survive, it was. So the, the, there's still that chance that someone might not have survived. You know, yeah. I mean, his daughter was our main witness back in 2010, his own daughter. Um, Who so, witnessed everything. Mm -hmm. Sam, Sammy, and she's she's such a lovely girl, and she's been she's like the biggest victim in all this because she's had to she was in and out of care, and she still stood by us, but even though she was terrified of him. Yeah. He was quite a scary character. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. Gosh, I, I can't begin to imagine. And Mary, it was your case, wasn't it, that yeah. led to the conviction? But uh, Laura and Lauren, you were part of it, weren't you? In Character terms of witnesses. yeah. So uh, Lauren, just tell me a bit about that. That was absolutely frightening. Going to court and seeing him for the first time in what was it? Twenty. I hadn't years. seen him since I was sixteen. Yeah. So yeah. I, mean, 40, 40, I was forty-one in the court case a few weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a long time. And taking the sand, like we were kind of hyperventilating, shaking, and everything like that. But we done it, and it was a relief. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! The first day, like, because they told me to come in. Um, on the Tuesday, but I didn't actually get to take the stand to the Wednesday. So, like, they, I had to read through my statements on the Tuesday, and I was in the witness bit, and because it was quite crowded, they made me sit out in the outside of... Not the outside of it, but there was a gl glass bit in the door, and I saw him. They said, oh, you won't see him, and then I saw him. He looked straight at me through the glass, That's and right, he was standing yeah. there, like, getting... He was getting searched, so it wasn't just he was walking. He was standing there with his arms up, you know, like, flexing his muscles kind of thing, look, looking straight at me. And I was just, yeah, I was like, it just... But you know what? That happening actually made it a bit easier to go in there on the Wednesday, knowing that I'd already had that panic, you know. Yeah. yeah. I was but, petrified yeah, to see him. Gosh, the court was, so scary. The court was, ex was terrible, cos we wanted to be in the public gallery after. Um, we had to share spaces with him. Yeah. Like, he was just sitting there, like, where you are, to us. Oh, God, that's awful. But how did it feel, then, when you got the guilty verdict, Mary? Um, well, I didn't go to court because of exactly how these ladies yeah. would have felt. I was just... It was just something I couldn't deal with, so I did it by video link. And, and um, the whole week I was bracing myself. I was so cold, I couldn't keep any heat in. Um, it's a very hard place to be. Mm. Um, was that, well, I was like, walking my dog with some friends. Um, and I got, when the, the call came through, I just literally collapsed on the floor. Um, crying, you know, sort of relief. It was just we, we were told emotional. We were, we were told by the judge on no certain terms were we allowed to react with either verdict. So when he said guilty and then guilty again for the next... Um, Two accounts. We, I felt like my face was going to explode because I was trying to hold all the emotions into my face. Like, I, we weren't allowed to, like... Yeah. Yeah. We weren't allowed we, to, like, smile or, or have any sign of relief. But we also thought he was going to get off because of in 2010 he got off. We yeah. just had no faith in the system. He, he, he didn't. The, the, amazing news. And the good thing is, you three are so solid, aren't you? The love you, that like, we well, have for one second, another. This is the second time we've ever met. Like, yeah. we, we met... Um, on the on the Tuesday after Tuesday the court Tuesday after case. the verdict, yeah, and, and that was really like beautiful. And you're thing. so tight now. You're looking after yeah. each other, aren't you? And... I mean, me and Lauren had met, but we'd never met Mary and like. Yeah, just I didn't. I didn't know even Lauren existed. I knew Laura existed because she put the post up. So yeah, it's just know, incredible. I didn't even know her name, like because they went. They they didn't tell us anything, and then we, me and Lauren haven't been able to talk for five years. Gosh. Like, we weren't, like, really, like, close. Close, though. close. We've, we've yeah. known each other since we were babies. Yeah. Like, yeah. Got, I'm so pleased you're looking after each other now, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you're talking about this because you just want other people to know that it is worth speaking out about it. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, you're not alone. It's like one in, four, what, one in four women have been through similar things to us and yeah. one in six children. So, for us, we just wanted to, like, get the message out there that... Like, yeah. that the CPS and that are actually listening now. Yeah. Like, things have changed a lot. And like, if you're comfortable speaking about it with a friend, family, or even going to the police, you're not alone. People are ready to listen now. They weren't in 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, we've, our families have all handled it in different ways. Like, Lauren's mum is absolute rock to all of... to me and Lauren, like, in the court case. She was absolutely awesome. Um, my dad turned up. I hadn't seen... I have... There's times in my life I didn't see him for 14 years. But my, but yeah. my mum and sister, I don't talk to them because they can't handle me. Yeah, they want to brush it under the carpet. And all of that meant you managed to get a guilty verdict. Yeah, so it has so taken five crimes. long years, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. gruelling, soul-destroying years. After but the we've post. done it.
Yeah. We, were well, it. But we weren't been allowed to talk about it, even in counselling. We were allowed counselling, but we weren't allowed to talk about the case. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming yeah. in to talk about it on the show. Thank you, you for having us. Thank be you so helping much. other people by doing what you're doing. Yeah, so thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you very much.